my gosh. You just gotta be in everything, haven't you? It's coffee and you don't like the coffee machine. Obsessed with crumpets at the minute. Obsessed. Look at the little squish. Look at the little squish. Oh, so precious. She's so precious. She is. Say hi, vlog. Hello. Hello. She's off. I don't want to say that like I'm barista, like I'm a barista, but I kind of am. I, can't, I kind of am. Hang on. Focus. Come on now. Like you have to bear in mind that this is on a not industrial coffee machine, okay? This is an at-home barista skill, okay? I think I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Good morning, everyone. As you can see, it very much is the morning. I've decided I'm going to do a weekly vlog. Not every week. This is just going to be a week-long vlog. It is Tuesday, so I have missed today, but I was at work yesterday, so that would have been very boring for you. So, today, I've got some content that I need to get filmed for a brand. So, I'm popping over to the Metro Centre. Then, for the rest of the week, I'm not up to much. However, I feel like vlogging might inspire me to do things for the vlog. It's going to be a nice week, so I need to get myself out of the house. I need to do things. I need to actually entertain myself, okay? So, come along for the journey. Yeah. So, basic plan for today. They're doing lots of work in this flat. Well, not my flat, but in the block that I live in. And it's annoying me. I'm finding it incredibly distracting, incredibly disturbing, if I'm quite honest. So I am going to walk into town and get some stuff done that I needed to get done. But the other day, I was walking through town. I say day, it was like half 11 at night. I was very drunk. And I spotted the book that I illustrated in a shop window. And obviously I didn't go in the shop because it was the middle of the fucking night. But I want to go back and I want to see if they've got some more of it in store so that I can go and sign some because... I won't lie, Waterstones Newcastle have been pretty useless when it comes to stocking the book and like running anything to do with it. No shade, but shade. So like there's never been any any of the book stocked locally and then I saw it in this shop window. So I'd like to go in and sign some books if they've got some more in stock. It was really cute, it was a very lovely moment. I sort of like stopped dead in my tracks and started telling random people around me like, oh my God, I illustrate that book, you know. I was drunk, I wasn't thinking, but it was hilarious. So I'm gonna go in and do that. I'm going to the Metro Center with my mom. I'm going to see Guardians of the Galaxy 3 filming some content for a brand, which is exciting. What else am I doing? I need to go and pick up some coffee from Granger Market. Basically, just need to get my life sorted, get some stuff done. Yeah, maybe do some illustration work. Has anyone seen the latest Doctor Who updates? I am nervous, okay, because I... There's too many hints that they're doing a musical episode. And I goddamn hope not, because Doctor Who should not have a musical episode. I'm sorry to the people that think it's a great idea. It is not. It doesn't fit. It doesn't feel like canon. And they could be like, oh, but it doesn't have to be a canon episode. If they're doing Doctor Who episodes with David Tennant, I want it to be canon. I don't want some wishy-washy, stupid thing. Personally, what I think, these, these are my theories, okay? These are my theories. Doctor Who theories with Ella. I think the Dream Lord might come back because I heard little whispers of some of the theme from Amy's Choice. I heard some of like the, the music and I was like, oh, and I know that we think the Dream Lord is the Doctor, but if they if, if he can be, be manipulated like that, I, I just think that the Dream Lord might come back because parts of the trailer felt like they weren't necessarily reality. And because I heard some of the music, I was like, oh, okay and if there's going to be some strange musical kind of theme that would make it seem like it's not necessarily reality okay so i'm thinking the dream lord might come back second theory david tennant is back as the doctor because of the doctor donna okay 
Everything about Donna in Doctor Who and Wilf is about coincidence and how they keep coming together even though statistically it's not likely, okay? And part of David Tennant's Doctor is in Donna and there's bits in the Dr. Donna episodes where she's talking about how she has his mind but not his face because they question why she still looks like Donna. I think that that might be some unresolved thing and that's why his face comes back because in the new trailer Donna says why has this face come back to say goodbye. I'm wondering if he has taken it out of her and that's why he's back as the Doctor, because they're going to have to make it make sense somehow. Like, why has his face come back? And I think it's because part of it still exists in reality, inside Donna's mind. That's my theories, okay? I'm thinking Dream Lord, some kind of weird reality, and the Doctor Donna, because she keeps coming back. That is literally the whole thing about Donna's character, is that she keeps coming back and they don't know why and they, honestly I'm, I'm not prepared for them having to talk about the fact that her granddad is dead because obviously Wilf the guy that plays Wilfred he died last year obviously he, he can't he can't be in the episodes and they're gonna have to talk about how her granddad's dead and I just I think that's gonna be so sad so sad but yeah those are my Doctor Who theories what are your theories let's hope I'm right so a big safe food for me is eggs and I know you might be thinking Ella that's really weird most people hate eggs because I know they've got funny texture but I love them and I love a boiled egg and I don't know if anybody has seen this hack on TikTok where boiling eggs you're meant to tap the bottom of them with a spoon until you hear the membrane break and then it makes it easier to peel once they've been boiled it works okay I'm gonna show you egg spoon listen Did you hear that? That is the membrane breaking, okay? And then you boil it, okay? Do it again. <gasps> it's, it's, just, it's so exciting, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. I also wanted to show you guys a very exciting project that I've been working on. I designed some t-shirts for a lovely brand called Hit and Run, and this is one of the designs. There's a trans joy and a queer joy, which I'll show you in a minute. Mine, I've, I've been out wearing mine, okay? <laughs> so it's a little bit grubby because I love them. These designs are for a brand called Hit and Run. And it's a sustainable brand that is made here in the UK. They are with sustainable cotton, organic cotton, non-toxic inks. They're made to order. So they're like incredible quality. I'll show you the Queer Joy one. This is the Queer Joy one. They're obviously very creased because I've been wearing them. Um, you can get each design in three colorways. You can get it in pink and red, black and white, or gray and purple in both of them. And they go from an extra small to a 5XL. And I just love them. I just love them. Designs were inspired by like where I see queer joy and trans joy the most in my life. And the answer was either in the mirror or online with the amazing creators, the amazing friends that I've made who talk about themselves online and spread trans and queer joy. And I wanted to celebrate that in a t-shirt. Um, because there's been so much shit in the media at the moment surrounding trans people and queer people and I wanted to do something that represented joy rather than something that like reminded you of I, d I don't know the sinister aspect of being trans you know and being queer um 10% of profits go to Mermaids, who are a charity that help with gender affirming care here in the UK. I think they operate elsewhere but I know that they're UK based um yeah so you can find them through a link I'll leave a link below if you want to go and grab one oh I look rough now I won't lie it is Friday and I've not filmed anything since Tuesday. I can't even remember the last clip that I filmed. I just did barely anything. I just did barely anything. I went to see Guardians of the Galaxy with my mum. Review. It was okay compared to the first two. There was like three moments where I genuinely laughed. Which for a Guardians of the Galaxy film is like so weird. Because the first two have like big openers with music. Whereas this one, it was very slow. It was very sad actually and I know that it's because it's the end of the trilogy so it has a different feel to it but I thought they were going to go out with a bang they didn't anyway I think I'm going to bleach my hair for a long time 
I've been letting it grow because I was like, oh, I kind of want to go back to my natural. I don't feel like myself with natural hair because I just feel like my personality and who I am is dyed hair, okay? And I feel like if you're a dyed hair person, you will get that. So I think I'm going to bleach it. I just think I'm going to feel really boring and really straight if I go back to my natural hair and that's just not who I am. Because it looked good when I was a 17 year old, but I was cis and straight back then. And I'm very much not now. So yeah, I think I'm gonna bleach my hair and take you along the journey. I also want to clean my kitchen. This is a thrilling vlog, guys. This is thrilling. I hope you're all hanging on to your seats, okay? Because not only do I look like this, I'm also doing thrilling things like showing you how I make coffee and cleaning my kitchen. I did also go to therapy and I filmed some self tapes. So I have done other things. I did go to therapy. Look, stunning. The bleach is on. It's been on for probably about 40 minutes now and I know what you're thinking. Ella, why are you leaving it on for so long? I don't care, okay? I always leave it on for way too long. It's not done me any harm yet and I do think it's still a little bit yellow, especially around the back. So I'm gonna leave it for maybe another 10 minutes. I took the tin foil off because I don't like leaving the tin foil on for the whole time that it's on because that can make your hair fall out. Um, yeah, so I may have decided to go pink. <laughs> so my hair is done. It's a lot brighter than what I thought it was gonna be, but I quite like it. Um, I do like this color. I may have had it this color before. It's very rich, it's sort of dark but light at the same time. Very much enjoy. I just did my makeup. Sorry if you can hear Taylor Swift in the background. Don't know why I'm apologizing about that. You can hear Taylor Swift in the background, go for you. I just did my makeup to match my hair. What do you think? Cute. My friend's website launch and now I'm going back to my hometown because it's my granddad's birthday it's also gonna be a lovely day so I'm gonna sit in my mom's garden and um, I'm going back to the lovely town of Chesley Street forward slash sarcasm tone tag I don't like going home however it is the place to be when it's sunny because my mom's garden is like a sun trap so I'm gonna go sit in the sun and also gonna go see my granddad. Not necessarily looking forward to it, just I find going back to my hometown so incredibly triggering. I mean, it's literally a half an hour bus journey, but it just like, I just hate it. I hate it so much. I have so many bad memories related to that house, to the town, to just everything about being there. And every time I go back and I've like got bright hair, I'm wearing something like bright, one of the men that are on the street corners of the pub will like shout something at me and it's just, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not some bet somewhere. I try and commute often. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. I genuinely think I've pulled about 12 more foot muscles trying to get this dress on. Go! 
Good morning everyone. It is currently Sunday. This is the last day of my vlog. I'm going on a walk with my dad. I'm taking myself back to my hometown again for the second day in a row. What the fuck is wrong with me? Um, yeah, we're going for a nice walk because I need to get out the house. I don't know if anybody else feels this, but I get so anxious when I'm inside on a sunny day. Like, it really freaks me out. Like, it makes me, like, think that I'm wasting my life or something. I don't know. It just, it makes me really anxious. So, I'm going to see my dad. We're going for a walk. Probably go around Waldridge Fell, um, which is, like, the big woods from my hometown. Um, yeah. Don't know how much I'll film. I filmed nothing. <laughs> I filmed nothing so I'm gonna end this vlog here thank you very much for watching let me know if you enjoyed it let me know if you want to see more weekly vlogs because I enjoy doing this it's nice I really like editing and it's getting my skills up so let me know like comment subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next one